Property Lim Brothers is right here at District 11. Today, we are not just bringing you to one landed home tour. We have three landed homes to show you. We have an inter-terrace, a corner terrace as well as a detached home. So these homes are ready for occupancy in about a year's time and I think it's really great for large families because unit mix ranges between your 5 bedroom all the way up to your 8 bedrooms for your detached homes. So you don't want to miss this, let's go. So this is actually a redevelopment of a former bungalow that sits on a land area of approximately 30,000 odd square feet. So the land area itself is actually freehold in nature. So we are actually also under the two-storey mixed landed zoning. So what people really love about this Gold Hill area is the size and its exclusivity because in this area it's quiet and it has low traffic because of its generally larger land plots as well as the low population density. So the Mount Rosie collection consists of six new builds. So four of these are your terrace homes which front the Mount Rosie Road and towards the back you have your two detached homes so each of these homes do have their own private entry driveway These are considered pure landed in status and do not fall under the strata or cluster home category So for the facade of this house you can be expecting engineered stone So finishes and fittings include marble flooring for your living and dining area full marble tiles even for the master bedroom This is also spec with sanitary fittings from Jesse and Villeroy and Bok So your kitchen appliances are by Vizu and they have also spec this home with Schindler high-speed lifts which will link you from your basement all the way up to the attic. So of these six homes built, three of them have already been sold and what's currently available is 25 Mount Rosie Road. This is your inter terrace, 23 Mount Rosie Road that is a corner terrace, 21 Mount Rosie Road, your detached home. And what's great about these homes is that in terms of the land plot depth, you are looking at 36.5 meters for the inter terrace and 37.2 meters for the corner terrace. For the detached home, it retains the original 21 Mount Rosie Road driveway, which is a 36 meters long driveway, which actually is very private and creates a barrier from the main road. And this actually helps to keep your home tucked away from curious onlookers. So the expected TOP dates of all these homes is actually in the third quarter of 2024, which is just about one year's time. So this project itself is actually developed by Frex Capital. So they are a boutique developer who specialise in on-block and the redevelopment of landed and apartments. And for the architects, we have Wallflower and DS Architects and they have a track record of designing beautiful landed homes. So we are actually located along Mount Rosie Road. So where we are, it's actually very serene and it's actually filled with dense greenery as well as black and white bungalow. So in fact, we are also located right next to the GCB area of Bukit Tunggal. We are also conveniently accessible via Go Hill Avenue off Danian Road or Chancery Lane via Bukit Timah Road or Thompson Road. It's approximately just 15 minutes walk to Novena MRT Station and within 500 meters, you'll be able to find nearby bus stop. Within a few minutes drive, you can reach medical facilities in the Novena area and also a short drive away to the Orchard Road Shopping Mall as well as the Singapore Botanic Gardens. Now, apart from the amenities and shopping malls, you have more food options at the popular Newton Food Centre. Popular schools such as Anglo Chinese School and Singapore Chinese Girls School are located within the one kilometre range. In addition, there are many enrichment centres and extracurricular activities that are populated around the Novena area, especially at United Square and Gold Hill Plaza. Now, this location is certainly great for families with children. Now, let's head on back to the studio as we share more on the unit details as well as the pricing analysis. So we're now back in our PLB studio and then I'll spot through with you the unique details of the three homes we have today. So starting off with 25 Mount Rosie, this is the inter terrace, sitting on a land size of 2,547 square feet and built up to 7,829 square feet. So this home comes with five bedrooms, five bathrooms, main door of the unit faces northwest. Basement parking garage also caters for three cars. So asking price is at 10.88 mil, which works out to about 4,200 per square foot. And next up, we do have a corner terrace unit, which is 20. 3 Mount Rosie. So for this unit itself, the land area is 3741 square feet. Build-up area is 9042 square feet. And of course, this is also complete with 5 bedroom and 5 proper bathroom. And the main door facing is towards the northwest. And because this corner terrace is sitting on a trapezium size kind of land plot, you do get a very good wide frontage of about 13 meters. So this is actually almost double the size of a traditional land plot width. The asking price of this corner terrace is at 14.888 million, which 
comes up to about 3,900 odd per square foot. And finally, we have 21 mile rosy. This is the detached bungalow. So land size is at 7,636 square feet with a build up area of 16,031 square feet. This comes with eight bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and your main door is also northwest facing. So basement parking provisions have been catered for six cars and unit is listed at 26.88, which works out to about 3,500 per square foot. And now let's zoom right into the inter terrace in terms of their floor plan and what you could expect within the unit itself. So from the basement, you'll arrive at the garage area where as we mentioned, you could park up to three cars and further in, you do have a proper foyer area as well as your home shelter and helper's room with ensuite. So as you move up to level one, you do have a beautiful roof terrace space and of course, you do have proper living and dining areas as well. And what's beautiful is that there is a courtyard area which will allow for a lot of natural lighting to come in and better ventilation as well. And now as we walk further in, you do have a powder room before you step into the kitchen and laundry area. Now, of course, it also comes with proper yard area. And there is also a lift that has access to all the different levels. Now, as we move up to level two, this is where you can find your bedrooms. So, of course, your master ensuite, junior ensuite, and common bedroom with ensuite as well. So, these are all very sizable bedrooms, and you could definitely fit your queen size or even a king size if you prefer. And now, heading up to the attic level, you have your fourth bedroom as well as the fifth bedroom, which is currently being featured as the entertainment room. So, the great thing is that both of these rooms also comes attached with its own bathroom for your occupants who are staying at the attic level, they do not have to come down just to use the bathroom. And again, it also comes with a proper roof terrace as well. And now let us share more on the inter-terrace pricing analysis. So in PRB, we like to break down our landed home types into four different categories. So under Cat 1, we categorize these as the older landed homes, single or two-story landed homes of about 30 to 40 years old, which is suitable for rebuild. So currently within District 11, the average price you are looking at is about 7.3 million for a Cat 1 landed home. So of course, if you do add in the rebuilding cost, which will come up to about $3.5 million, that sets your total amount to about $10.8 million. And what else you need to take note of is that if you buy into a Cat 1 home, you will also need to cater for additional roughly two years time of rental which sets you back at about $240,000 so in totality you are looking at a $10.8 million plus $240,000 in terms of the rental and that comes up to about $11.04 million so for Cat 2 these homes are generally around 20 years old of age they require e and &E or full gutted renovation so as a rough gauge we would estimate the reconstruction cost to be about 80% of the total rebuilt cost so currently in District 11 the average asking price of a Cat 2 landed home is about $8 million. So of course, with the estimated a and &E cost of $2.8 million, that sums up to about $10.8 million. And now moving on to the Cat 3 landed homes. So these landed homes are approximately 10 years old or lesser. Currently in District 11, the average asking price you are looking at is approximately $8.75 million. So of course, adding in the a and &E cost, you are looking at a total of $10.85 million. So moving to the Cat 4 homes, so these are new built homes that is by landed developers. So currently for the brand new homes in District 11, the developers are looking at about 4,500 odd PSF. So based on this pricing and the 2,500 land area, it will work out to approximately $11.25 million for a Cat 4 home in District 11. At a glance, if let's say we were to just zoom into the Cat 4 home, which is of similar attributes to our home at Mount Rosie, which are brand new by landed developers, in District 9, you are looking at above 5,000 odd PSF. And in District 10, around 4,400 odd PSF. And as mentioned earlier on, in District 11, it's asking approximately 4,500 odd PSF. And our inter-terrace right here at 25 Mount Rosie, it is asking at $10.888 million, which works out to about 4,200 odd PSF. So I think there are certain reasons why these homes are worth considering. I think one of it being that the homes here are actually very well designed for a long-term family stay. Actually, just from the side gate of Catholic JC, it's also a very walkable distance to our home. And although these homes arise out of subdivision, I think the larger land plots that the developers specifically catered for, this really means a larger capital gain with every $100 PSF price increase over the years. Moreover, there is still potential for a future subdivision, especially for the detached land. So this can be made into a pair of semi B. So there is also quite a good district disparity since the new builds there are being listed about 200 to 300 PSF higher than those that we have in this area. I think this is something similar to the spillover effect which we are currently seeing in the GCB market. So as prices in Botanic Garden continue rising, 
some of the prospective buyers have taken an interest in the Caldercourt area instead since they offer similar serenity as well as the proximity to the green lungs of Singapore. So I'd say we would see some increased interest in this area, especially as your Stevens, District 10 and the other portion of District 11 where your Newton and Novena site is. Prices there are continuing to move up as well. So let's share with you the floor plan for the corner terrace. 23 mile rosy. Once you enter into your basement level, you would have your car garage, entrance for your bomb shelter, as well as a helper's room with ensuite. So while the parking is originally catered for three cars, due to your wide frontage, definitely you can have more family and friends parking on the driveway itself. So your plot width of 13 meters, this can comfortably cater for about three more cars on your driveway. So as you take your lift up to level one, you would first have your roof terrace. So this seats above your driveway. And I think this is a very good outdoor entertainment space so just deck it with some carpet grass you can have your barbecue pits there a few hammocks so your family and friends can all hang out together on this roof terrace and you can also look out to the greenery and black and white bungalows along Malcolm Road so let's head back inside that is where you have your living and dining areas you have a little courtyard by the stairs so you move slightly further in that is where you have your lift landing your powder room followed by your services so your kitchen laundry and yard space are tucked away at the back of your home so moving on to level 2 that's where you'll find your master and junior master as well as a common room that already has an attached bath. And finally, heading up to your attic level, that's where you have another common bedroom with ensuite, as well as an entertainment room which would serve as the fifth bedroom of the house. So both at the front and back of the home, you would find an open roof terrace, so more spaces for your gardening needs. So I think being new builds, these are all very good future-proofed homes with your lease serving all your levels all the way from basement to the attic floor so i think this really caters for your property's longevity as well as multi-generational living so let's take a look at some of the prices here for the corner terrace in district 11. So for corner terrace under the Cat 1 segment, they are looking at about 9.2 mil for the cost of the land. Rebuilt wise, that will sell you back about 450 per square foot on a build up area of 9,000. So that is about 4.05. And also to consider for that two year period where the construction is actually ongoing, your rental will probably be about 15,000 a month. So that's about 360,000. So all in the total cost, if you wish to do redevelopment on a Cat 1 home, that should come up to about 13.6 mil. Moving on to the Cat 2 home, current asking price of Cat two homes in the area they are about 10.8 mil add in your 3.24 mil of ANA costing the ANA cost should come up to about 80% of your total rebuild cost total cost is about 14.04 mil and for your cat tree homes currently they are listed at about 12 million dollars perhaps you pump in about 2.4 mil for your renovations total cost that would be about 14.4 mil finally for the cat 4 brand new homes asking ranges between about 10 to 14.8 mil I would say this is due to the very in terms of the land sizes as well as the build quality and the facts that the architects have chosen for the home. I think one more thing to take note is that for this house, you're pretty much getting a very fully maximized kind of build because 2.5 stories, your envelope control will allow you to build up to about 12 meters height from the road level. The developers have also pumped in an additional basement for you. Alright, so now let's share a little bit more on the future developments in this area. So one of the largest ongoing projects is the North-South Corridor. The construction of this 21.5 kilometers North-South Corridor is overseen by the Land Transport Authority. So this corridor has actually been built as Singapore's longest transit priority corridor. So there is no doubt that it will bring about more convenience when you are traveling around Singapore. Another urban transformation that is taking place in the Novena area is the 17 hectare Health City Novena, which is envisioned to be an integral integrated community of healthcare, medical education and translational research in a vibrant and sustainable communal environment. And if we were to take a look at the URA map, the neighbourhood park at Go Hill Avenue will be retained while there are also forested plots that have been zoned residential. So with greater influx of residents, there will definitely be a new pool of upgraded audience and also bring about rejuvenation and demand in this area. So coincidentally, there are a few other sites around the Mount Rosie Road area which are currently being hoarded up, which means that new builds are growing on as well. So this means that as the buyers introduce Mount Rosie Road landed properties now, in the future, when the buyers do want to sell off, you are looking at exiting at a higher baseline PSF. So it means that it will certainly help to push up the overall pricing in this enclave.
And finally, let's deep dive into the detached home right here. So this is number 21. So as you enter your home through your driveway, you will directly be taken to the basement car garage. On plan, this shows five parking spots, but definitely there is still ample amount of space for you if you do have family and friends during the festive season. So beside the garage, you also get a foyer and a storeroom. So moving up to level one, this home actually comes with a pool. Dimensions is 2.3 by 13.6 meters. I think this pool is great for the kids and it also makes a nice dipping pool for the adults. So from your pool deck, as you head into the house, that is where you do have your living and dining space. There is also a separate wet and dry kitchen. On the ground floor itself, you also get your guest room with ensuite as well as a powder room. As for the services area, you do have a laundry room as well as a helper's room with its own attached bathroom and a yard. So taking the lift up to level 2, that's where you have your master bedroom with your walk-in wardrobe. You have your junior master with an ensuite. And you also do have three common bedrooms that all comes with their own attached bath. So I think something good about the design here is that there is a balcony linking all of the bedrooms. There is lots of light coming in from the sliding doors and this makes it really delightful on the second level. And finally, let's head up to the attic level. That's where your secondary living and dining space is. You also have two common bedrooms, bathroom and the roof terrace. And finally, let's compare the pricing for the detached homes in the area. So for the Cat 1 home, perhaps they are slightly older, single storey. These homes are suitable for rebuild. We do see them priced between about 2005 to 2006 PSF. So based on a 7,600 square feet piece of land, that will bring the land cost to about 19 mil. Rebuilding cost, we can base it off 450 per square foot of built area. So that's about 7.2 mil. So considering rental cost for that two year of construction at 25,000, that is about 600,000 of rental cost. So the total cost, if you were to undertake this on your own, that will bring it to about 26. $6.8 million. But definitely what you get is a brand new home. Although the construction period takes about two years, there is also about six months to a year of the pre-planning site investigation, working together with your architects, designers and builders to get your relevant approvals and even down to the little details such as selecting of materials. So I'll say this is a total of about two and a half to three years of your time and effort. But of course, if you are looking for something that is fully customised to your family's needs and perhaps you are in the build industry or you have a keen interest in this and you really don't mind undertaking this entire process on your own, then it's definitely worthwhile to consider purchasing a Cat 1 home and doing the full rebuild since costing-wise, these are pretty similar. So Cat 4 homes, on the flip side, they offer a more ready and fast re solution. So TOP for these homes is in about a year's time. And you're also buying the developer's expertise, the thoughtful design in terms of their space planning. And I think for this one, because there are six homes being built together, you do enjoy a little bit of the economies of scale as they do the basement construction. They have also put lots of thoughts into the specs, so you do get your high-speed lifts. You also get fantastic interior and exterior architectures as they do have lots of experiences in such rebuilding projects. Thank you so much for staying to the end of this home tour with us. So once again, we have three beautiful landed homes available for sale. Inja Terrace, Kono Terrace as well as a detached home. Price ranges from 10.888 to 26.888 million dollars. So if you are looking for a future-proof home sitting on a freehold plot of land conveniently located in this prime district 11, or you just wish to find out more info on this development, do give our listing teams a call. Their numbers are right down below. Do also like and subscribe to all of Property Lim Brothers channels. We are also on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. My name is Yen Yen. Cheryl, Property Lim Brothers, always happy to show you the place. Yen Yen's home is like Yes, a lot of hands. You really have this kind of thing. Yes, yes, yes. I noticed. Here, here. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Okay, okay. We still have a feeling of feeling. Okay, go 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 and now let us share more about the pricing analysis. Come with us. Okay. Yen Yen, Cheryl, Robin, Robin, Laura. This is the hardest.